I'm Adam Chappelle. This local news is a service of Flangler County's Toyota dealer Beaver Toyota here to welcome you. The East Flangler Mosquito Control District is continuing to investigate a $1.1 million budget shortfall. Rich Penchke has more on that story. A report delivered last month to the district's directors is blaming what's being described as complacency by administrators for accounting errors that occurred in 2016, which led to the shortfall discovery last year. The report says those errors included omitting the expenditures for constructing a new district headquarters. The shortfall resulted in the termination of longtime district director Joe Cash, along with district chief financial officer Rachel Knapp. State auditors are planning to review the district's finances within the next few months. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Rich Petschke. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. More than 100 Flangler County students, teachers, and residents walked across the State Road 100 Bridge in Flangler Beach Friday night in support of the students at Douglas High School in Parkland. Flangler Palm Coast High School student government president Tyler Perry said while nationally it's the youth that are taking on the lead in this movement. And we really want the adults to help us. We want the adults to form the connections with the kids and the students to reach out and form those connections with the adults so that everybody can kind of coexist. It's really all about uniting Flagler against a couple common goals, which are local changes that we can see here in the community. Flagler County Commissioner Sullivan was one of the many elected officials who were there on Friday night. He told the News Journal, while the goal is to keep kids safe, the key is to finding, quote, reasonable solutions. A lawsuit stands to land the city of Palm Coast a six-digit figure all over a golf cart enclosure. John Arking explains. After the owners of the Matanzas Woods Golf Course failed to demolish a cart barn as required by a settlement agreement with the city of Palm Coast, a foreclosure action by the city was resumed. In the settlement, the city agreed to reduce the amount that it was owed, but in return required certain conditions be met by set deadlines, one of which was to either demolish a cart barn on the periphery of the course or repair it and obtain a certificate of occupation. When neither was accomplished, the foreclosure suit was reactivated. The company that owns the course, Group Golf of Palm Coast, also failed to reply to a letter requesting an update from the city's attorneys. A bench trial was originally set for January 17th, but was canceled on the assumption that the settlement was proceeding. The default also means the city can seek to recover $168,553 instead of the $118,500 agreed to in the settlement. From the WN NZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. The groundbreaking is set for next Friday in Palm Coast. Gaia Sales South will break ground with a new facility on Commerce Boulevard on the 16th. The 30,000 square foot facility will be in addition to the company's current canvas and upholstery manufacturing operation nearby. Last year, Gaia Sales South moved from a building on Hargrove Grade in Palm Coast to Commerce Boulevard. In the one year since, sales have increased by 25%, and over the past four years, sales have nearly doubled. The new facility is expected to be completed by November. Now you're up to date. I'm Adam Chappelle.